up monarchs i am divine thank you so much for your time and i'm so grateful that we have a lot of welcome, welcome back to the monarchy okay so this is the last of like the dreams and visions that the lord gave me to release this week okay and this this one was more of a vision and it was like that miss america type of pageant situation right <laughs> and then i went to my was it was it my email or something and there was a message or maybe i went on the internet i don't know i don't remember this was months ago y'all like i said god is just not having me release these things right so they i went to there was a, a message either there's an email or like something came up on you know how when you open google it has like the news and stuff and it said miss america hold on i wrote it down it said miss america is not doing her duty and a replacement has been sent in okay so i talked a little bit about in another in the other two by two message that the lord gave me how he was saying that he's raising up another like the replacements and he did specify so listen if the lord like because there's this debate you know about like oh does the lord have, have replacements or do replacements first of all saying that the lord wouldn't or can't or is not going to do something is insane okay god can do whatever he wants <laughs> okay let's be very clear about that but if you look in the bible just biblically like you see how many times there was a replacement esther was a replacement boaz technically by law he was a replacement he wasn't the first in line right and so the lord is saying though that replacements isn't for everyone so like yes in some people's scenarios or situations you do not have a replacement replacement's not a thing and the way that he explained it to me was that if he has ordained someone for you and he told you and he confirmed it to you over and over and over again because i do have a dream about replacement deception right about like witchcraft and like people being deceived that they're supposed to have replacements and whatnot so yes you can be deceived yes there is such thing as they're not being a replacement but it may just be for you right and i talk about this all the time in terms of parameters and specificity when it comes to god right we all have our own personal relationship and journey with god so you cannot take what god has told you unless he tells you to and then put that on someone else because that may just be for you right it may be the parameter for you that god has for you for whatever will he has in your life right so please as always get with the lord okay i know y'all hear the sirens in the back that's archangel michael coming through anyways um get with god okay ask the lord about is you know if you have been feeling that dropping that in your spirit ask the lord right fast pray go into your secret place and ask god like is this for you are you supposed to have a replacement with like i said the way he explained it to me is if he has told you that someone is your person right and you guys like haven't ever even been together or or um like you've never even met or something like that where there's like no it hasn't come it, it has it never formed into the physical world right and then a replacement like you know he tells you about a replacement that could be a potential that you have a replacement however he was saying that if he told you somebody and he confirmed it to you over and over and over again and you've met this person or you come in contact with this person or you guys have actually been in a relationship before and they're just a prodigal or something like that he's like no that that is not a replacement right however if you were already married to someone and you know god removed you from that marriage and he's been telling you that you have a new marriage promise that is a replacement right so it's really specific right it is based off of what god is doing and what the will of lord god is for your life okay so don't just take something and run with it but don't reject it either simply because you don't understand it submit it to god and ask for understanding oh dang hopefully that's not too loud in the background i forgot i was playing this back there so my my, my christian lo-fi okay anyways so yes okay so basically the lord is saying whoever 
was the original person, just like in the story of Ruth and Boaz, right? The first kinsman redeemer, he didn't want to do the duty of taking the responsibility of Ruth, right? He wanted the land, right? He wanted the worldly part of it, but he didn't want to take responsibility for Ruth. And he didn't want to bear children with Ruth that would be her um late husband's children right because that was the law and that's how they did it back in those days right that whatever children she had would technically be her her past her husband that passed it wouldn't be the man who she had the children with i know that sounds confusing but <laughs> you get me if you get me you get me okay so um the lord is saying that this person was not doing their duty they weren't doing or completing the task right because when god is taking us through these processes of coming into these divine unions he is putting you through tests he's putting you through trials and challenges right he is testing your heart your mind your body your spirit right and not like the lord tests you but he allows you to be tested right let's not get that confused so um the lord is saying this person they no, they failed their test <laughs> right the person who's being replaced they they failed okay they so they weren't doing their duty or they are not wanting to submit their flesh right they are wanting to continue to be in the world they don't want to go through the process of what it takes even if this person genuinely does want to get married and all this other stuff you can get married and it still not be a god ordained marriage there are plenty of people who are married and god don't have nothing to do with that even though marriage is a sacrament of god there are plenty of people who are married and that marriage is not recognized in the eyes of god it doesn't matter if you got a piece of paper god doesn't care about what the law says right like jesus said in the bible is that you will ignore the commandments of god or the traditions of men god is the one who ordains marriage not the government okay so submit this to god please do not just take it and be like oh replacement no 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 or reject it and be like no there's no such thing as a replacement you need to ask the lord what it does it mean for you okay because some people are getting replacements at this time because the lord is no longer willing to wait for people to be willing to submit their will so that these unions can come together because these unions have purpose right they have anointings on them and things that they're supposed to be doing for the kingdom of god and god's not going to hold up his his plans you know because somebody don't want to act right all right so i hope this helps i hope this heals don't forget to like comment share subscribe please above button if you want to know when i post more if you're interested in any healing services all the information is in the description box below and i will be back this is